Hey guys, it's Miss Molly, Education Coordinator for California Waterfowl, and today I'm going to teach you what waterfowl are. Okay, let's start off with the basics and talk about the word itself, waterfowl. So we all know what the word water means, right? We know and love water. But a lot of people get confused about the word fowl. When I say fowl in my class, a lot of students think of something that's smelly or something you can get when you're playing basketball. But when I say fowl, F-O-W-L, we're actually talking about a type of bird. So when we say water fowl, those are birds that like to hang in and around water. Specifically, the habitat that they live in are wetlands. Okay, so now that we've broken down the words, let's actually talk about the birds themselves. So when we talk about waterfowl, we're talking about three specific types of birds. The first birds are ducks, then we have geese, and then we have swans. So waterfowl are ducks, geese, and swans. What make these birds waterfowl and not another type of bird is they actually have three very special body parts in common. So let's talk through some of those body parts. The first body part they all have in common is their webbed feet. So all waterfowl have webbed feet, which means the skin in between their toes is connected. And they have these little floppy feet to help them swim. It helps them pull and push the water really nicely. If you've ever worn flippers in the pool before, you know how awesome those are for swimming. Waterfowl have them built in all the time. These are actually an adaptation. For those of us that don't know the word adaptation, Adaptations are skills or traits that animals have to help them survive. Another body part they all have in common is their spoon-shaped bill. And notice I'm saying bill and not beak. We call it a bill in our waterfowl because they actually get their food out of the water. Remember their name, right? When we look at their bill, they actually have a spoon-shaped bill. So it's really round to help them scoop up their food, right? We use a spoon to scoop up our cereal. Our waterfowl use their spoon-shaped bill to help them scoop up water and their food. If we look really closely at the bill itself, you can actually see right on the edge of its bill, there's little tiny ridges, and those little tiny ridges are called lamella. And lamella are really cool. They're basically like a built-in sifter on the bird's face or a strainer. So when they do the big scoop with that spoon-shaped bill and they get a bunch of water, they can push the water back out through the lamella and then it keeps all the bugs and fish that they like to eat in. So again, all waterfowl have spoon-shaped bills. The last body part they all have in common is their long neck. Waterfowl have really long necks to help them reach down into the water and get their food, right? If you've ever seen a duck's bottom up in the air, that's what they're doing. They're taking that long neck, they're reaching down the water, and they're scooping up their food. So all waterfowl have long necks. Awesome, let's do some review. So waterfowl are birds that like to hang in and around water. Specifically, their habitats are called wetlands. When we talk about waterfowl, the three different species of birds that we're talking about are ducks, geese, and swans. And what makes them waterfowl and not another type of bird is three very specially adapted body parts. The first body part is their webbed feet. The second body part they all have in common is their spoon-shaped bill. And then the last body part they all have in common is their long neck. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned a little today. And stay tuned for more content from California Waterfowl. Thanks, guys. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.